I'm here with artist Tammy Hahnemann and today we have a really cool project on metal clay. Metal clay, love it. I love it too. And you can, it's a great way to get some texture. Oh yes, I agree, I agree. So if you're not familiar with metal clay, what it is is a fine silver product that looks like clay, but then when you fire it, it turns into silver. Mm -hmm. That's exactly right. And to get the texture on it for this technique that I worked on, I'm just going to roll the clay out to what we call five cards thick. And I'm using these slats. Everything on my work surface has been pre-treated so that it's non-stick. You can use um, different materials available. Even olive oil works. Just to keep the clay from sticking to what you're rolling it onto and what you're rolling it with. So once I've rolled it to five cards thick, I'm gonna just transfer it over to a non-stick sheet and I'm gonna roll it out to three cards thick. So I'll just move those over. And so this is pretty cool. I'm just gonna use a stencil, which I clearly use for painting, right. which it's fine, you can use it for both. Um, and then just a textured piece of metal, but you can use a rubber stamp, you can use anything. I just really like the fine detail of the metal. And you have to push kind of hard, so. And sometimes my roller, because I'm pushing so hard, goes flying. It's kind of funny. It wouldn't be funny right now, but Let's it's hope pretty, it doesn't. pretty funny when I'm at home and it's like, whoa, there it goes. It wouldn't be the first time something crazy <laughs> has happened around here. Now, if I did it well, kind of well. Nice. But you know what? Because this is so forgiving, if it didn't turn out, it's not like you're going to notice. And so here you can even do it this way. You know, like kind of more of like a burnishing right. instead of rolling. Because the metal is so stiff, you really just have to kind of make oh, it work. Oh, there you go. Yeah. And now, if I treated this properly, it'll peel right off. And it creates like a resist nice. or a mask. Yeah. So, you know, you do this technique in painting, and now here we've done it in metal clay. Now we can cut it into whatever shape we would want to. You can use a blade. You can see this is a blade that's just sharp on one end. And I just put a piece of tape so I we... I do the same thing. <laughs> so we don't forget which end is the sharp end. And then you just find on your pattern where you want to cut it, or you can use a template. And I'll show you how to do that too. And of course, as you're picking up the clay, if you're familiar, you know to put it right away. If you're not familiar, you wanna put it right away so that it doesn't dry out. It is and an you can use it again. Oh yes, it's an air dry product. And you can always add a little bit of water to it to keep it so that it's hydrated and still pliable in a clay form. Okay, and then this is just a really fine tip tool and we'll go around the inside here of the, this opening on this template. You can use any shape. I really. love the oval. I love the oval. Peel away the clay that you cut. Pack it back up. Pack it back up. And then you can place your holes for stringing it. So you determine at some point how you want to hang it, string it, Sure, so if you wanted to make it a pendant, you would just do a hole at the top, and if you want it to be a bracelet focal, you could do a hole on each side. Correct, correct. So once, it's, once you've done that, you need to let it dry. Okay, um, how long does it take? It, you know, it depends on where you live. Oh. Mm-hmm, because so it's in Arizona, it would be super oh, quick. super fast. Pennsylvania, not so much. Not so much, yes. Okay. So, and then once it's dry, you want to clean it up. And it's really good to, um, even when it's in this state, the wet state, I will apply some water just to clean up my edges. So just that smooth I have, it out. Yeah, just so I have less work at this stage. Every stage you're trying to eliminate more work. And you really wanna take time here to eliminate the work you would need to do once it's fired because then you're working metal. Right. It's not as forgiving. Right. And we just, this is just, uh, you know, like a salon board and I'm just rough, you know, smoothing those corners just a little. Because it's jewelry, you just want to make it so that it's wearable. And then once you've done that, you would fire it. Okay. So it takes about two minutes, right? That's correct. So we'll set our timer here. Once you get it up to temperature, and you need to get it to a nice rosy glow. So you were going for like a salmon, and what you'll see first is the binder burning off, and that will have a smoke and then a flame. And you'll see it, it'll even start to shrink. 
You wow. can almost, right? Did you see it? I did. Yeah, and so metal clay typically ranges in shrinkage from eight to 10%, and that's just the binder and the water that was used to make it a pliable material. That's what's burning off. Okay. And you want to get it up to a salmon color. And once you get it there, you'll hit your timer. Okay, so if you don't mind, just start sure the thing. timer and hold that temperature. So it looks like we're almost there. We are. Just a few more seconds. And you can see where it got a little shiny. That's because it got a little too hot. And if that happens, it's fine. What you want to do is just pull back your torch so you're maintaining the temperature, but you're not melting your silver. And of course, I have my safety glasses on and we've covered our work surface, so we're, we're all good here. Yes, yes, definitely. Okay, so the torch is very hot, so we're going to turn that away from us so we don't mistakenly hit it. And you can let this air cool or quench it in water, but whatever you do, don't touch it, it's very hot. Okay. Okay, once it's cooled, I'll put that aside it's time to see the beauty of the metal. And once it's fired, you'll see it has this uh, appearance, this white appearance. It's um, just a matter of changing the topography of the surface of the metal. And I'm just using a brass brush. You can use whatever polishing materials you have. A brass brush is just nice and quick. Yeah, and you can see it's starting to get shiny, and the more you work on it, the shinier it's mm -hmm. going to get. That's correct. And these are some beautiful pieces that you brought with you too, Tammy. Thank you very much. I love the way that you brought it all together. Thank you. You're welcome.